Hello students, once again I welcome you in the third part of sample paper of Science and Technology for Meghalaya Board of School Education 2020. I hope your preparation is going very well and uh, I would like you to study these sample questions as a help to you to appear the metric board very nicely and getting good marks. So geology part, it will contain uh, Mm, okay, same type of questions as it was earlier in chemistry and physics, same marking. So, but here there will be really one mark, two mark, three mark and five mark questions. But here the total mark has increased. Before in chemistry and physics it was, you see, 26. Now it is so, 28 marks. Two marks more you will get in geology. So, as it was earlier, choose the correct statement will be there. Three questions of three, uh, one mark each. And all these questions, you have to refer question at the end of every chapter in your geology part of your science and technology book. So now we start with the chapter life process. So the part one, nutrition. So here, question number one, autotrophs generally synthesize food for the entire living world. Justify this statement in very short interconnecting autotrophs and heterotrophs. Okay, next question, define compensation point in photosynthesis. Next question, how many pairs of salivary glands are there in humans? Where do they open? Yeah, where do they open? Okay, next question, enumerate any two functions of the gastric hydrochloric acid. You have to write the two functions of the hydrochloric acid secreted in stomach. Okay, next question, mention the role of the pancreatic enzymes. And then amylase is secreted by the two different glands. Name them. And then what is the action of amylase on food? Next question. Name any two autotropic plants which also show heterotropic mode of nutrition. Describe an activity to show that the chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis in plants. Okay, now next question. We'll go here. <coughs> Uh, okay, explain the role of the following in the process of digestion in the human body. Uh, number one, what is the role of bile? Then you have to write the role of pancreatic amylase. You have to write the role of saliva in digestion and gastric juice in digestion and the and role of enzyme trypsin in digestion of the protein. And then what are stomata? And then draw a label diagram of the stomata yeah and then you have to write the two function of stomata stomata we know that small small sephore like structure on the lower surface of the leaf next question name the process by which autotrophs prepare their own food define the process and then list two events which occur during the above process means during the uh, synthesis of the food by the autotrophs you have to write the the two main events in this and then what are the two basic raw materials for photosynthesis other than light you know that there are so many types of raw material required for the manufacture of the of glucose inside the chloroplast of the leaf so beside the beside the light there are some more raw materials required so you have to write the name of only two basic raw materials other than light required during photosynthesis how are they taken up by the plants how the raw materials are taken up by the plants state the two differences between autotropic and heterotropic nutrition so these are the two types of nutrition so you have to differentiate between them okay then we have draw a diagram depicting human elementary canal and they have to level on it the gallbladder liver and pancreas you have to show where the gallbladder where the liver and where the pancreas in the human digestive system or elementary canal state the role of liver and pancreas what is the function of liver and pancreas during the digestion of the food that you have to write down and then you have to name the organ which perform the following functions in human absorption of digested food absorption of water then we go to respiration. Now here, 
Okay, what are the two end products of anaerobic respiration? Anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen, we know that. So what are the two end product after the anaerobic respiration you have to write? And then what are the different stages of respiration? And then what is the site of glycolysis? Glycolysis is one of the of the part, the breaking down of glucose is called the glycolysis. So where it will take place? What is the site of glycolysis? Inside the cell you have to write actually. Inside living cell. Then where does the Krebs cycle occur? Then what organelle in a cell is associated with the production of energy by aerobic respiration? Okay, then we have uh, the... Okay. What are... Then we have next question here. What advantage over an aquatic organism does a terrestrial organism have with regard to obtaining oxygen for respiration? So what advantage over the, over an aquatic organism does a terrestrial organism have when they take the oxygen for respiration? Then give one reason for why the multicellular organism require special organs for exchange of gases between their body and environment. Why? They need the special organ to allow the exchange of gases uh, between their body and environment. You have to write the one reason you have to write in multicellular organism. Okay, then what are the new metaphors? They mention two characteristics that are that are possessed by almost all the respiratory organs. And how are the lungs designed in human beings to maximize the area for exchange of gases? How long is lungs are designed so that exchange of gases will be the area for exchange of gases will be more in human being? Then enumerate the three basic properties associated with the surface functioning as a respiratory surface. Above the surface of a living organism and becomes a respiratory surface, then what are the properties, what are the characteristics of the surface so that it will function as a respiratory surface. You have to write that. And then distinguish between aerobic and anaerobic respiration in terms of end product and energy released. Then what is the end product uh, after the aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration? And how much energy is released in aerobic and anaerobic respiration? How many kilojoules you have to write down there? Then distinguish between direct and indirect respiration. Okay, then you have to draw a level diagram showing the human respiratory system under normal condition. What is the rate of breathing in one minute in human or in the per minute in humans? Then give three points of differences between respiration in plants and respiration in animals. Okay, then make a comparison between the photosynthesis and respiration. Okay, then we go to the next chapter or next part of the living process and that is the transpiration. So here transpiration, you have to answer the question like uh, name the transport system in plants and animals. What is the name of transport system in animal and plant? Both you have to write. Define the term here, translocation. What is translocation? in plants and then name the four major chambers of human earth. What is the meaning of the term double circulation in human beings? What are the two types of xylem elements? It means what kind of cells are composed in the xylem tissue? You have to write the two types of cells or elements. Then how do they differ from a blood vessel? How uh, these two types of elements of the xylem differ from a blood vessel? You have to write that. Then other than capillaries, which are the two types of blood vessels? And how are they different in terms of direction of blood flow? So you have to differentiate between the two types of blood vessels other than capillaries. I think these are the arteries and veins. So, so thus you have to write a difference between them in terms of direction of blood flow. only. Okay. Then the next question, describe the mechanism of blood clotting. How blood is clotted after the injury? How blood clot at the surface of injury? Then write down two sentences describing the composition of phloem tissue. This is a phloem tissue in plants. So then describe the structure of human heart 
very briefly. You have to write the chamber, then shape, external character, external feature, and the partition of the different chambers in, in human heart. Then you enumerate five functions of blood, and then name three kinds of blood vessels of human circulatory system, and you have to write function of each. And excretion chapter will go to excretion part. Explain the mechanism of urine formation or give stepwise detail of working of human kidneys leading to the formation of urine. Okay, and then we have uh, <clears throat> how does excretion take place in plants? How does excretion take place in plants? And draw and label the structure of a single nephron. The nephron, you know, is the structural and functional unit of kidney. So you have to draw and label the different parts of a single nephron. State the two vital functions of human kidney. Draw a diagram of the human urinary system and label on it kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, and urethra. Then we go to control and coordination chapter. So here you have to draw and label structure of a neuron. Neuron is again structural and functional unit of the human nervous system. Then what is reflex action? State the three reflex actions of the body. Explain how the reflex arc is same in all of them. Okay, then you have to write the function of different parts of human brain. State the three significance of reflection. Okay, then, so here you have to level the following in the stages of reflex response with A, B, C, D, and E during the reflex action, reflex ref, response. What are A, what is A, what is B, what is C, what is D, and what is E? You have to write these are the stages of the reflex response. Then you have to write the single difference, only one difference between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. You have to write one difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Okay, then you have to write, define the nerve impulse. Which structure in an nephron helps to conduct a nerve impulse towards the cell body and away from the cell body? And you draw a diagram of human brain and label the following parts. The cerebrum. Then meninges, the medulla oblongata, and cerebellum. Define again the photo. Define the phototropism, and then geotropism, chemotropism, and hydrotropism. Define each one, one by each. Then you write the name of four types of plant hormones. State their functions. Then why is iodized salt necessary for our body? And to draw the endocrine system in human male. State the function of each gland by giving names of hormones secreted by them and their functions. Okay, then we go to reproduction in plants and animals. So here, illustrate the following with the help of suitable diagram. The budding in each cell, the binary fusion in amoeba, and then fragmentation. In spirogyra, multiple fission in the plasmodium, and the budding in hydra, regeneration in planaria, and the leaf of the bryophyllum with the birds. Okay, then we go to last chapter, the heredity and evolution. So what are factors causing variations? So differentiate here phenotype and genotype, differentiate between them, and monohybrid cross and dihybrid cross. Monohybrid ratio and the dihybrid ratio. They state the law of independent assortment. Uh, that, is, that is the law of Mendel's law of inheritance under that it comes. Then what is evolution? Define. Um, okay, here evolution came two times. So only here you have to define the genetic drift. Okay, define the genetic drift. Okay, then describe the Darwin theory of natural selection. Then what do you mean by speciation? Explain speciation with giving one or two examples here to write here. And then what is mean by the analogous organ? Taking a suitable example, explain how they support the theory 
of organic evolution, then what is a gene? What is a gene and define heredity? That much you have to learn in the in the biology part. So I request you, all of you, please, you like this, all these three parts of the chemistry, physics and biology sample papers. And you subscribe it and you write your any type of questions you want their answers of the questions you come in comment box and thank you very much once again and best of luck for your exam thank you very much for giving and listening this and once again i tell you please subscribe and you like this and thank you very much